வந்த சீரா பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் சுனிதா துக்கல் மற்றும் ஓய்வு பெற்ற காவல்துறை அதிகாரி காமராஜா ஐ பி எஸ் ஆகியோருக்கு அகில இந்திய மல்லர் எழுச்சி பேரவை சார்பாக வரவேற்பு வழங்கப்பட்டது கோவையில் உள்ள பிரசித்தி பெற்ற பேரூர் பட்டீஸ்வரர் கோவிலில் ஒவ்வொரு ஆண்டும் ஆணி உற்சவ நாற்று நடவு விழா வெகு விமர்சையாக நடைபெறுவது வழக்கம் மழை வளம் இயற்கை வளம் பெற்று மக்கள் மகிழ்ச்சியாக வாழ வேண்டும் என்ற நோக்கில் கொண்டாடப்படும் இந்த விழாவில் கலந்து கொள்ள தேவேந்திர குளர் வேளாண் சமூகத்தை சேர்ந்த சீரார் பாராளுமன்ற தொகுதி உறுப்பினர் சுனிதா துக்கல் மற்றும் ஓய்வு பெற்ற காவல்துறை அதிகாரி காமராஜா ஆகியோர் கோவை வந்துள்ளனர் இந்நிலையில் கோவை வந்த இருவருக்கும் அகில இந்திய மல்லர் எழுச்சி பேரவையின் தலைவர் மனுநிதி சோழன் தலைமையில் உற்சாக வரவேற்பு அளிக்கப்பட்டது தொடர்ந்து தேவேந்திர குளர் வேளாளர்களின் நீண்ட நாள் கோரிக்கையான பட்டியல் வெளியேற்றுதல் கோரிக்கையை வலியுறுத்தி பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் சுனிதா துக்கலிடம் மனு வழங்கப்பட்டது மனுவை வாங்கிய அவர் இதை குறித்து பாராளுமன்றத்தில் பேச உள்ளதாகவும் மேலும் பிரதமரை சந்தித்து தேவேந்திர வேளாளர்களின் நீண்ட நாள் கோரிக்கையை குறித்து பேச உள்ளதாகவும் உறுதியளித்தார் இந்நிகழ்ச்சியில் மகேஷ் செல்வம் உத்தமன் உள்பட நிர்வாகிகள் பலர் உடனிருந்தனர் It's my great pleasure that I am here in between my Devendra Kula Velalar community. Uh, in the parliament, a bill was passed by Honorable Prime Minister. He told me that I have to spoke, I have to speak on this uh, bill. That is uh, seven sub-caste. They are collectively now called as Devendra Kula Velalar. So they are because they are Yeram Poram. they belong to yeram and poram so that's why i spoke on this bill and uh, all the seven sub caste they merged together and now they are called as devendra kula velalar i congratulate everybody from this sub caste to now called as uh, devendra kula velalar because they are from uh, you know agrarian community and chera chola pandyan they were the they are from that dynasty so i congratulate everybody over here from different part of tamil nadu and uh, i really uh, i feel myself very uh, obliged and very glad that i am the part of uh, this devendra kula velalar so i congratulate everybody over here from the devendra kula velalar family that's it and i uh, and i uh, also respect honorable prime minister that he told me that you have to speak on this even i was not at all aware of anything about the devendra kula velalar but i researched so much and then i uh, found that uh, like guruji like john pandyan uh, there are so many people uh, who worked so hard uh, to i mean make this uh, sub caste as a devendra kula velalar i respect periyarji also because uh, you know caste is made here only we are all one so that is why i respect uh, i may, i pay my gratitude to the honorable prime minister as well that uh, uh, he chose me to speak on this bill thank you so very much that, uh, i mean language is uh, not a barrier so their gesture uh, their emotion emotions that shows that how much they love me and that is because i spoke on this bill and i tried my level best to speak well in the parliament and to i mean make adavendra kula velalar one community instead of seven sub castes and um, sir kamraj he helped me so much when i uh, just came to know that i have to speak on this i immediately called him i know that he is from this area and uh, fortunately he was from this uh, sub caste as well <laughs> so he knows well <laughs> that's why he helped me so much and uh, that's why it could happen that the all you know the agitation is just to i mean include the people into the reserve category into the sc category to, uh, just to get uh, so many uh, reservations but this community is saying that we just want to get out of this <laughs> so it's uh, really i think one of his kind in the whole country nobody asked that we just want to get out of the reserved communities so they are saying that we are we don't want to get any reservation we just want to get out of this this schedule actually what is schedule caste you know that is a schedule made by honorable uh, ambedkar ji in that schedule the caste which included in that schedule they are called as scheduled caste 
So in case if uh, the people they just think that they are uh, now, I mean economically they are sound, uh, socially they are sound, politically they are sound, in case if they just feel like that, they can, uh, I mean, get out of it. It should be there. Uh, it is not right now. But uh, in case if uh, the people are asking for this, we should think about it also. But very long time. Long time they were asking just to make uh, Devendra Kula Velalar 1 uh, from the 7 subcast. Let's see. It's a, I mean, there is no provision in the constitution. In case if, let's see what will happen. I will ask to the honorable prime minister and our ministers of the social department, social justice department. Let's see what will happen because it is not happened earlier. Uh, first time it will happen. Let's see.